Hello, everyone. Uh, so my topic is how I learned to study abroad. So how I learned to study abroad? Well, I just remember that my parents told me that I always said since I was very young, since I was a little girl, that I said, like, I want to study here, and I want to go there, and I want to study, and I want to know these places. And I just, I just wanted that. I just want something that I really wanted. So, so maybe the question, it's a very hard to answer. Um, because study abroad is just, just like, uh, to, you learn about it. It's something that, it's a desire, something that you really want to do. Something that you really, really want to do. So, but maybe one way to learn about it is listening to other people's experiences. And listen to the studies and the, in their experiences. So, I'm going to share, uh, share with you quickly how I got here. Uh, my name is Grecia Romero. I'm from Honduras. And maybe, well, because that happened before, uh, some people is like, I'm wondering, where, where is Honduras? What is that? So Honduras is in Central America. It's a hard Central America. It's a beautiful country, full of amazing things. You should go, eh? You say, you really, really should go. Um, so last year, my brother told me to take a look uh, an article that was on the internet, and I read it. And it was about an uh, opportunity to apply to a scholarship. Co uh, it's a program called UGRAD. It's uh, sponsored by the Department of the States of the, the United States. And it's organized by World Learning. So I read it, and it's like, I thought, hey, I fit perfectly here, all the requirements. And then I shared the idea with, uh, with my parents, with my closest friends, and I started having a lot of doubts. I was like, no, maybe I'm not ready. Maybe I should wait until I graduate because it's my fourth year in Honduras. I was like, maybe I should wait on a lot of things, a lot of questions in my head. But then <clears throat> I just said, OK, I'm, I'm going to take this. I just, uh, I just uh, relaxed about it, and I put everything in God's hands because he always, like, he always do everything like, the best for me. So I was very confident in that. And I just wait and apply. I took the risk. Even it was so crazy because I, I just knew at the moment that I was coming to the, to the, to the United States. And that's what, that's what I knew. I didn't know where or when. So it was crazy, right? Like, why did you do that? But I just did it. Uh, I'm going to take the risk. And after a process of about three months, I knew that I was coming here. And I was so happy and so excited. And the hard part maybe is like being away from home, like being away, away from your family. Um, but they are always there for me. They always support me. And um, so I got here. I came here in August last year. And I took English classes at ILI, here at university. And now I'm taking five classes at HSU. And I can say that this is the most incredible experience that ever happened to me. It's just so awesome. And if you're, if you're planning to go study abroad, even if you, just, if you, even if you graduate already, um, I, I was thinking, like, what, what things I can share that I learned? But it's very hard. So I choose one word. And around that word, I choose three things that I, I can share with you that you, you will learn about it. It's the word, this, this little word, and I really like it, is um, discover. Discover. So you will discover. You will discover the word. Yes, because when you are in another country, you will share with people from around the world different cultures, different backgrounds, traditions. But the, the cool thing is that you will see that you can share with these people. And even if we are so different, we can be friends and share a great time. So discover the word, then discover your country. It's like, but Grecia, you said I always live in Honduras. Yes, but being here, I can, like, I have a different perspective. I see my country with, in a different way now. Um, I appreciate more my culture. I appreciate more my traditions, my, my, my backgrounds, everything about Honduras. I just love it. And I know that it's bad things, but... I mean, it's my country, and now I see it in a different way. Now I see, uh, you can see also, if you go in another country, you will see the opportunities that you have to learn to, to, to help to your country and help to develop your country and do amazing things there for people who really need it. And then the last thing, discover yourself. Yes, yeah, so discover the world, discover your country, discover yourself. Because when we are um, away from home, we will have different hard moments, like a lot of culture shocks and crazy things that you will see, like, what is this? Like, I never saw something like this before. So 
uh, when, you have, when you have hard moments, you improve your character, and that makes us grow. That makes us grow and be better. And now I just see the that I have. I um before when I was home back home, I thought that my ideas and my plans were so great and the best thing. But now being here, I just like I can see how wider my perspective and my plans could be, and all the things that I can do now. I just I'm not just looking for a small pay, uh, a small space uh, for my vision. I'm just like looking at the galaxy, and I can see like a lot of opportunities that I have now. I see outside, I see the world, and I see like all the opportunities and things that I can do. I see that I, I feel now that. If I really, really want to do something, I can do it. And it's the same for you. And so just discover, take the risk. Thank you so much.